everyone. It's Monday, and you're watching Within the Frame. I'm Kim bo -kyung. The host of the 2030 World Expo will be announced soon. Busan is one of the candidates, and apart from the expo bid itself, the southeastern port city has already been going through changes in terms of its logo and slogan as part of a revamp. Our guest today, Professor Ken Na, is in charge of renewing the Busan brand design. What does he think of Busan City's uniqueness in terms of design, and what does he have in mind if the city does win the expo bid? To answer these questions and more, Professor Ken Na of Hongye University, the master designer for Busan Metropolitan City as a brand, and a board member of the World Design Organization, joins us in the studio. Professor Na, welcome. Thank you for having me. Thank you for being with us. Now, Professor Ken Na, uh, first question. Before we start, I'd like to ask about the importance of urban design and branding. Mm, every globally renowned city has its own visual identity mm -hmm. and its design. How important is branding in order to make a globally attractive city? Mm -hmm. Right now, the uh, all uh, global city is competing against each other. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the futurists predict that in 2050, 70 percent of people will live in the cities. Mm -hmm. So it is not any longer the competition among the countries. It will be the competition among the cities. Mm. So each city is very uh, uh, working hard to make their uh, cities image to not only the uh, people living in the cities, but also the people all over the world. Mm. So the, <clears throat> the branding is really important. And the world renowned city is not a world renowned city because of the symbol and slogan. Mm -hmm. It is already in the high, high class. Mm. But uh, some cities, they make a, a kind of a, a manifestation of the, uh, their will to become global city mm -hmm. by changing their slogans and logo. Mm. I think the Busan case is one of the cases that they will move in the forward. Mm. But world design, globally uh, uh, renowned cities, the brand is kind of uh, the essence mm. of the all assets a city has. Mm. So what do you think when you think of New York, the first thing you think of? I can uh, think of I love New York slogan. Yes, yes, exactly. In New York, there are so many good things. Mm. But how can you tell everything? Mm. So I love New York is kind of a, uh, how do I say, the, the, the wrapping paper. Mm -hmm. If you open the box, then every small Christmas uh, presents mm. are there. So the, each city, the brand is really important. Mm, right, I see. So soon the competition is going to be not among the countries, but among the cities. Yes. And that's the reason why the image and yes. branding is so important. Yes. Mm, I see. Now, Professor, we are going to talk about your thoughts on Busan. But before that, I'd like to ask you about Seoul, as you were the chief director when it was designated as World Design Capital in 2010. What changes were made to Seoul at that time? At the time, uh, Mayor Oh uh, actually uh, wanted to uh, make the Seoul as a uh, city of uh, design. Mm. So he actually uh, uh, planned very uh, uh, many things. Mm -hmm. And then one of the uh, most important thing is uh, the building uh, Dongdaemun Design Plaza, uh -huh. DDP. So not only DDP, but also uh, he uh, changed the uh, organization of the cities. So he made a, a deputy mayor mm -hmm. uh, as, a, as, a, as a design. Mm -hmm. So he changed the whole structure mm -hmm. so that the whole city can move forward for design center, the cities. Mm -hmm. So not only uh, Dongdaemun Design Plaza, mm -hmm. DDP, but also uh, the, the color of Seoul, mm -hmm. the 10 colors of Seoul, and all the urban design, the street signs, a lot of things uh, mm -hmm. has been improved mm -hmm. since uh, Seoul was the, uh, designated as the, the first world design capital. Mm -hmm. I see. And Professor. then from that, mm -hmm. uh, Seoul became uh, design city mm -hmm. in the world. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, very interesting. So uh, did the Dongdaemun Design Plaza uh, constructed at that time? Yes. Oh, I see, I see. We so, start, started uh, o over the uh, designation of mm -hmm. World Design Capital, mm -hmm. but it took uh, some time. Mm -hmm. So after uh, finished World Design Capital, mm -hmm. it was completed. 
I see, yeah. I see. Now, Professor, uh, let's now talk about Busan. You have become the master designer of Busan City, and compared to Seoul, what is Busan City's own uniqueness uh, that could be valued in terms of designing? Busan uh, is a city with uh, unlimited potential. Mm. I was born in uh, Seoul. Mm -hmm. I'm one of few original Seoulites, mm -hmm. but I've been to uh, Busan uh, so many times. And then one day I, I realized that Busan is totally different from other cities in, in Korea, especially mm. uh, Seoul. Mm. So north of Han River and south of Han River is a two complete different cities, mm -hmm. actually, mm -hmm. divided by the Han River. Mm. But Busan, on one side is uh, all the oceans, mm -hmm. and the other side is all the mountain after mountain. So the city is, is in between the mountain and, and the ocean. Mm. So there is no division. Mm. This is all continuation. Mm. So from the old centers to uh, uh, kind of new cities like uh, Heunde or uh, marine cities, where it looks like a Singapore. Mm. From the old town to marine city, it is continuous gradation, mm. no division. So this is a really interesting point. If, you, uh, if I take the bus and then if I see uh, outside of the, of the cities, even I, I, cannot, uh, I cannot do anything but to keep watching how it gradually uh, change the mm. sceneries. Unbelievable. Mm. So Busan uniqueness is the uh, continuous uh, gradation. Mm -hmm. So I say, I don't know in English, uh, eight color bird mm -hmm, <laughs> or uh, iridescent. Mm -hmm. So those are the words that I can use for uh, Busan. I see. It's a really unique city. Mm. So continuous graduation made because of its geographic location yes. could be one of its own uniqueness. Yes. yes. Right. Now, Professor, in the past year, we have already seen many changes that were made to Busan City. And first of all, the slogan changed from dynamic Busan mm -hmm. to Busan is good. Uh, what does Busan is good suggest? Uh, because uh, uh, dynamic Busan, uh, there is nothing wrong about it. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think the, the slogan, Busan is, uh, dynamic Busan, has done its mm -hmm. role enough mm -hmm. successfully. Mm -hmm. Now. Busan is entering a new era. Mm, right. So in new era, they need a new uh, cloth. That's the uh, beginning of the new slogan. Mm. And I, li I really like the slogan, Busan is good. Mm -hmm. Because uh, in, in even every city in the world, if you see the slogan, I love New York, Seoul, Seoul my, uh, my soul, all the slogans, Ultimately, what they want to say is New York is good, mm -hmm. Seoul is good. Mm. But they, I don't know, for some reason, they couldn't say. But in Busan, for the first time, mm. is a clear manifesta manifestation of their self-confidence mm. about their future of mm. the city. Mm. So Busan is good. It is perfect slogan mm. for Busan. Mm. Also, the slogan has, uh, usually the slogan has a, uh, uh, has to have two features. Mm -hmm. One is adaptability, mm -hmm. and the other one is flexibility. Mm. And Busan is, uh, is good, has really uh, good capacity for adaptability to uh, many different medias, mm. many different forms. But it has great value on its flexibility. Mm. Busan is good for, you can put anything on it. Right. Busan is good for living, mm. Busan is good for food, mm. Busan is good for traveling. traveling. Yes. Everything. So it has unlimited mm. potential of flexibility. Right. That's so the beauty of uh, Busan is good. Mm. So slogan uh, shows how confident Busan is, yes. and it also has both of the aspects that the slogan needs: yes. adaptability and flexibility. And flexibility. Right. And also w one more thing that I'd like to add is that uh, even though uh, we uh, suggest uh, the Busan is good. Mm -hmm. But the real uh, good point is not from the team that we uh, designed the slogans and uh, uh, s symbols. The decision process mm. is more important. Mm. Because even uh, a lot of cities, when they decide one slogan or one logo, they work out of maybe hundreds, maybe thousands. Mm. 
So most of the time, the decision making is the problem. Mm -mm. So if they make a correct, right decision, then it could be much better than, than any, anything else. Mm. But Busan, the process of making decision to Busan is good, is really the one that we really appreciate it. Mm. But why is that? Was it made, uh, was it selected by the people of Busan? Yeah, Busan people and the representative of the uh, Busan cities mm. and all the government officials mm. and also including the mayors. Also, uh, they uh, listen uh, carefully to all the experts mm. who, who designed it. Mm. And then that's the, uh, the beauty of the uh, uh, Busan is good, mm. the decision process. Mm, right, I see. Yeah. So you like the decision making process of the slogan. Yes. Right. Uh, I think you already mentioned how the Busan city also changed its logo. Mm -hmm. And as far as I know, it used an overlapped BNS. Yes. And I heard that it is the first time to have a logo in 3D. In the city. Yes. In, mm, yes, can is. I ask you the reason why you chose this? Because uh, uh, now uh, Busan wants to. Uh, innovate, mm. so wants to change dramatically from the past. Mm. So uh, that, that's why dynamic Busan to Busan is good. And then uh, old, uh, the symbol was uh, quite old, mm. like a, a seagull and uh, Oryukdo and, and the, uh, the mountains mm -hmm. and oceans. Mm -hmm. So we need a, a dramatic change mm. from the previous and the new one. Mm. So that's why we use uh, something that other cities never tried before. Mm, right, interesting. The professor, uh, apart from the logo and slogan that we have talked about until now, how are you, how are you further planning to change Busan City's urban design? Because uh, the the urban design, uh, one of the important thing is uh, there are two big uh, components of mm -hmm. urban design. One is the buildings, buildings, the new buildings, mm -hmm. and also how to. Uh, uh, remodel or how to keep the old ones mm -hmm. uh, that's another issue and mm -hmm. the other one is called we we call a uh, public design uh -huh. so you see the older signage and on the streets and the subway systems and also if you walk all the shops and restaurants they have a big uh, the signs mm -hmm. I think those are the ones that we need to uh, change gradually uh -huh by listening and by working together with the stakeholders. Mm. So if, if you uh, put uh, uh, this size of the, of the sign of the, of the restaurant, the next door they put a little bigger mm. and bigger and bigger, then it never ends. Right. Then that means that nobody watched, nobody mm. sees it. Mm. So we're making a little more systematic uh, way of looking better, mm. nice, and neat. Mm -hmm. So by looking at the signs, mm -hmm. then people can have a feeling that, wow, the restaurant must be very nice mm -hmm. and clean and well organized. So those are the issues that Busan uh, has to do. Right, so you have to uh, have new buildings mm -hmm. and also would have to have systematic uh, public designs. Yes. Right. Now, uh, Professor, as you know, Busan City is currently working on an expo bid. Mm -hmm. And if Busan City does win the bid, could there be any changes to your plan that you have already mentioned? I think, uh, I think not much change, but mm. uh, the only change that I can expect is the, uh, the speed. The speed. Yeah, uh -huh. Once uh, we uh, won the bid, then it accelerates mm -hmm. all the implementation. Mm -hmm. Right, so you would have to accelerate the plan that you had already mentioned yes. if the Pusan Expo bid uh, gets to be win. Yes. Right. Now, we cannot leave out Riyadh and Rome, the cities uh, Pusan is currently competing against. Mm -hmm. Since you're a design expert, how do you evaluate the, these two cities, you know, urban designing and their brands? I mean, uh, the Rome, uh, Rome itself is a, is a big, yes. uh, big design. Right. So, uh, especially in Korea, there are a lot of uh, uh, Italian designers working mm. in Korea. Mm -hmm. uh, they actually study the architecture. Mm. But as you know, in Italy, uh, there is no new buildings. Oh. <laughs> so uh, all one is the, the maintenance and uh, uh, re restoration of the buildings. Mm. So not much work to do. Mm. So. They, that's why a lot of Italians working in, in all over the country for designing uh -huh. other things. Mm. So in Rome, uh, I, I cannot say anything 
but itself. Mm -hmm. But uh, Saudi Arabia, Riyadh is a little different. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been to uh, several cities in the uh, Middle East. Uh, it's like a, a new uh, cities, it's, it's especially the Neom city. Mm. It's a very ambitious plan. Right. If we could do it mm -hmm. as a plan, then it can be uh, one of the miracles of mm. the human kind. Mm. Well, how do you distinguish Busan City's own, you know, uh, uniqueness from these two cities in terms of design? In terms of design, the uh, the Rome, mm -hmm. there is nothing to do mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in Rome. Mm -hmm. uh, in Iliad, mm -hmm. there are a lot of things to do. Mm. But in Busan, mm. every component of the city needs to be redesigned redesigned yeah so it is more dynamic mm -hmm. it is it has more work to do mm -hmm. and with design we can easily change the uh, the visual appearance of the of busan mm -hmm. to a uh, world class mm -hmm. city i see you can have more dynamic aspect yes. for the designers to yes. work on yes because it has everything mm -hmm. the high rise buildings and old towns so there are so many good points mm -hmm. i see now, Professor, uh, shifting gears a little bit here, you have been chosen as a board member mm -hmm. of the World Design Organization. For those who might be unfamiliar with this organization, mm -hmm. what role does it play? Actually, the, the, the World Design Organization, in short, we call WDO. Mm -hmm. now, formerly, it was uh, called ICSID. ICSID is the International Council of Societies of Industrial Designers. Mm -hmm. That's the kind of... Uh, association of the industrial designers, the product designers mm. of all over the world. Mm -hmm. So it's been uh, already uh, 70 years. Mm -hmm. And then now, uh, as we can see, the industrial design, the definition of industrial design uh, keep changing. Mm -hmm. And its role and scope is getting uh, bigger and bigger. So the, the border between the product design, industrial design, and uh, graphic design and uh, media design is getting blurred, mm. it's getting fuzzy. Mm. So that's why uh, they changed the name from Exceed to World Design Organization. Ah, and another reason is that uh, one of the projects that Exceed uh, initiated is the World Design Capital. Mm. And then now World Design Capital it has become a really good brand for uh, Exceed. Mm. So that's another reason that they have to change the name mm. from Exceed. It's uh, hard to pronounce mm. and hard to remember mm -hmm. to World Design Organization. Mm, interesting. I didn't know it changed its name from Exceed to WDO. WDO. And then now it, it, it covers uh, almost all uh, uh, disciplines of design, mm. so from uh, traditional industrial design mm -hmm. to architecture mm. and graphic design mm. and uh, UX design, mm. and it, it covers everything. Mm, yeah. I see. Now, Professor, like I said before, you will be working as a board member of the WDO uh, for the next two years until 2025. Are there any goals that you like to achieve while working as a board member? Yeah, uh, even uh, back in uh, 2008, mm -hmm. uh, actually, once I uh, tried to become the, the board member, mm -hmm because in preparation for World Design Capital. Mm. But at the time, I failed mm. uh, very close. <laughs> so uh, at the time, uh, Korea was one of the major uh, countries for exit. Mm. A lot of uh, memberships from Korea. And uh, as you know, the LG and Samsung and Hyundai are the major companies. And then over the, the, over the decades, this year, when I see the all the membership uh, status, then then Korea's the membership shrink mm. unbelievably. Ah. That means that the the design uh, of Korea design mm. is um, reputation and perception mm. over the the global uh, is becoming uh, less and less. Uh -huh. So one of my uh, main uh, purpose of uh, uh, as as the board member is. Mm -hmm how to uh, regain the power and the influence of uh, Korea design mm. in World Design Organization. Mm. And also, uh, a lot of Korean designers, uh, they are really want to work in other countries. Mm -hmm. So 
there is uh, somebody or some kind of a system mm. that can bridge mm. so the Korean designers can go other countries. Mm. So that's another the role, not only for the board member, mm -hmm. but also uh, as a design professor, then mm. I have to do it. Right, I see. Now, Professor, uh, I'd like to ask you many more questions, mm -hmm. but we are running out of time. <laughs> so uh, I believe this will be our last one. Mm -hmm. uh, you have already mentioned about South Korea's global branding status. Mm -hmm. In what direction do you believe uh, the country should go in order to boost its mm -hmm. you know, branding status? I think just the branding uh, is nothing more than a uh, cosmetic touch. Uh -huh. The real thing is the people living in the city or in the country has to become global level. Mm. So people with good etiquettes, mm -hmm. uh, people uh, kind to uh, others and all the restaurants and uh, the shops, they have international standards. Mm -hmm. That's the really important thing. Mm. I remember uh, back in uh, 15 or 20 years ago when I drive, if I see uh, somebody uh, riding bicycles, then we honk. Mm, right, right. Yeah, get away. But these days, nobody, nobody does. So the, 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 the Korea, and the Seoul, and Busan, and all the cities should move that international mm. uh, standard. Mm. So I think that's the uh, uh, kind of a role of, of brand. Mm. So the, the brand can be uh, as, as pretty as we can make but the people actually living in there, it, it takes mm. more time than mm. we expected. Mm. So when it matches, mm -hmm. then that's done. All right, <laughs> yes. I see. Well, thank you, Professor, uh, for your advice. Mm. I mean, it's quite interesting to hear that people are the key yes. in elevating the country's yes. branding status. Yes. I see. Well, Professor, uh, thank you for your time and insights today. Thank we you. really appreciate it. I really enjoyed it. Thank you. All right, that's all for Within the Frame tonight. We'll be back tomorrow with more in-depth stories. Thank you for watching and goodbye.